Hey guys, it's Krista from Craft If I Wanna online stores and retreats. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get the Wink of, a, Wink of Stella effect without having to have the Wink of Stella pens. If you're like me, the Wink of Stella pens are just a little bit higher than I wanna pay. And number two, they um, have to be purchased online. I can't get them locally. So this gives me a chance to be able to do something immediately. I found this video on YouTube that showed me how to make them and I tried it with her materials and it just did not work for me. Um, I tried several different things and it just they weren't coming out right so I was getting frustrated. I finally found what I what works for me and I hope this works for you guys too. Um, you're gonna need some sort of small containers. I use these from Hobby Lobby. Um, they are they snap together like this. You can get 10 of them for $2, so they're real cheap. And I like them because, like I said, they snap together and I don't have to worry about losing one. So you're gonna need some sort of small container like that. You're gonna need an aqua brush um, with some water water in it. I love these by Tim Holtz, it's a brand new product, but it's a detailer brush. So it is a water brush, but it has this amazing close tip on the top of here. And then you're also going to need some sort of color. Today I'm going to be using Regal Rose. I like the Stampin' Up! ink refills. This is what I use. Um, you can use anything really. But these um, are really bold, really bright, and they're scrapbooking safe. So that's why I'm going to be using these today. And then you're going to need some sort of glitter. For me, I like the, the Stickles glue. This is what worked best for me. I have, I have tried all kinds of different um, glue product, or I mean uh, glitter products. This one the glitter was too thick, another one the glitter was too thin, and so the stickles worked really well for me. I just got one that was really clear. It wasn't tinted. It wasn't like a blue tint or a pink tint. This is just a clear basic stickles, and I got a big bottle because I used a lot of it. So the first thing you're going to do, you're just going to need your little uh, container. And you're going to put about two teaspoons in here. So I'm going to squeeze quite a bit in there. So you're going to you're going to put quite a bit in there. And then you're going to take your color, and you're going to just start off with just one drop. I found that putting too many drops in there, it was getting really dark really fast. So I'm just going to start with one drop. And then you want to make sure your brush is nice and clean if you've been doing multiple colors like I have. And we're just going to mix that around in there. And I like to use my aqua brush because it's got water in it and so it's going to put a little bit of water tech, uh, water in there to thin out the, the consistency here. And if it's not thinning out fast enough then you know just put a drop or two in there. So. There we go. That is working good. So, but this is just a little bit. No, actually, I like it. I think I'm going to leave it light like that. This is actually supposed to be a pink. It looks orange, but it's supposed to be, it, it's pink to me. So, um, you're just going to mix this up really good. And then use, use your brush to test it and see if it's getting the, the consistency that you want. Once I tested it on some paper, I found that it was just too light. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more color to it. I accidentally put three drops instead of two in there. I'm going to mix that up really good. Yeah, that looks really, really red to me, but I think it's going to be fine. So. Oh, yeah. There we go. So when I put it on my paper, it came out pink instead of red. So, and no, it's not gonna be perfect. Um, the Wink of Stella's just are cut above the rest, but this was a really close second. So uh, I wanted to show you compared, uh, comparing the blues. Um, this is the blue wink of Stella. I take it and put it on there. And then I'm going to take the blue that I made. Now, of course, I don't have that exact color uh, for my uh, 
Stampin' Up! inks. So I just made my own color here, but I'm going to take my brush and put a little bit of, I've used this blue a lot because I love this color. It's really bright and beautiful. So if you look on there, you can see that it, it's it's really close and stuff. And the more it dries, the better it's going to get. Here I did the the clear the clear wink of Stella or not wink of Stella. What I made myself, I just did a clear one without any color in it. And this is what it looks like after it dries. I did this part is not done and this part is done. So there you go. So hopefully that works for you guys. Um, I want y'all to play around and come up with your own colors and um, show me some projects that y'all made with that. Uh, I'm look, really looking forward to getting to use this and starting to make or starting to use it on some card kits. So uh, check out our Facebook page. You'll find out information for upcoming crops and upcoming retreats and classes and um, product that we have on the Etsy store. So thanks for watching, guys.